This video explains overactive bladder and discusses some of the treatment options focusing on neuromodulation with PTNS. Thanks for joining us for this short video which explores overactive bladder and some of the treatments for this condition. It's a medical problem that can have a real impact on quality of life. We'll look at how PTNS for neuromodulation can affect the bladder and produce beneficial effects in this syndrome. Overactive bladder is a description of a group of symptoms affecting urination in women and men. These symptoms include urgency, which is a sudden desire to urinate that is difficult to delay. There may be increased frequency of urination and going at night time as well. If urgency is associated with incontinence, this is called wet overactive bladder. What causes overactive bladder is not entirely clear. It can occur spontaneously, it may be associated with aging, it can be due to neurological conditions, possibly it can be caused by recurrent urinary tract infection, but in many cases there is no clear cause. Essentially, the bladder is not functioning normally, and this is either due to abnormal sensory signals from the bladder or due to a lack of the normal relaxation of the bladder. Patients describe the bladder as being very twitchy. This video will center on a treatment for overactive bladder called PTNS, which is shown here. But first, I want to run through all of the treatment options available. Treatments should start with simple measures. If you smoke, you should stop. If overweight, then weight loss will significantly improve symptoms. Regular and easy bowel habits help, as does regular exercise. And for some people, a reduction in caffeine intake is helpful as well. Bladder retraining and pelvic floor exercises are a mainstay of treatment and can help greatly. Learning to fire the pelvic floor in rapid succession can inhibit urgency feelings and in some people retraining the bladder to delay urination and possibly to hold more urine can help with symptoms. For those patients who fail simple measures, medication can help and there are many different drugs available. Most inhibit bladder contraction, but these tablets can have bothersome side effects, meaning that only about 1 in 10 patients remain on the tablet after a year. A newer drug called Betmega stimulates relaxation of the bladder and can be very helpful, but it's not covered on the PBS and care is needed in patients with high blood pressure. Botox injections into the bladder are another possibility. This requires a short operation and usually needs to be repeated every nine months or so. A recent approach to long-term treatment is called neuromodulation. The nerve supply to the bladder is balanced by two systems, a stimulating or activating system and a relaxing system. The overall function of the bladder is a result of the input of these two systems, as well as the nerves that relay sensation. Overactive bladder is thought to occur because of imbalance in these systems, either too much activation in the sensory or stimulating system, or not enough input from the nerves involved in relaxation. By gently stimulating the nerve supply to the bladder, it's possible to produce results that improve overactive bladder symptoms. This can be done by implantation of a permanent device called a sacral nerve stimulator. The stimulator has a small battery and constantly stimulates the nerves that go to the bladder. This does involve two surgical operations and is invasive. A much easier alternative for patients who are not candidates for sacral nerve stimulation is something called PTNS percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation. This is a painless and straightforward treatment delivered as an outpatient. What this does is gently stimulate the tibial nerve at the ankle, which has the same nerve root as the bladder. By stimulating this nerve, bladder function is treated. Patients come in for a 30 minute treatment once per week and a timely painless needle is inserted just above the ankle. The nerve is gently stimulated and this is repeated for 12 weeks. If the treatment is successful, then a course of treatments every two weeks is continued for a further 12 weeks and then monthly for 12 months. The treatment is easy and straightforward and there really are no serious adverse events reported from many years of study. The treatment is not suitable for patients with a pacemaker or those who are pregnant. In terms of treatment effectiveness and success, large studies report favorable findings. Between 61 and 80% of patients report more than a 50% improvement in their overactive bladder symptoms of urgency, frequency, and urgency incontinence. Importantly, we need to know if these improvements are maintained after treatment, and this does seem to be the case. In this graph, the light gray bar is severity of symptoms before treatment, and in blue, we see improvements at three months after treatment, 
and then these improvements are maintained out to three years, and this is 18 months after treatment has stopped. Here's a short list of some of the papers that looked at the results of PTNS treatment. Please do stop the video here and have a look at these in more detail. Many thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. You can find out more information in the description box and our details follow. We have other linked videos on PTNS in the description box. Please like and please subscribe to the channel.